Okay, today we're going to be dividing in a given ratio. And this is one of the main skills involved in ratio. And what it allows us to do is to divide an amount into uneven shares. Whereas if we were just dividing 35 between two people, say, you'd get 17.5. But using a ratio allows it to be shared in a different way. So I've got three fairly simple examples. We can have some quite complicated problems using this skill, but I'm starting off with three ones that are similar for today. So number one, divide 35 in the ratio two to three. That means when I share this 35, for every two on this side, there'll be three on that side. So I could count two for there and three for there and keep counting like that. But if I look at the whole picture, what I've got is two shares here and three shares there. So that's five parts altogether. So I'm gonna use in the word parts quite a bit. So I've got five parts altogether. And the crucial thing in all these calculations is to find out what one part is. So to find out one part, I divide the total, 35, by how many parts? So 35 divided by five, and that gives me seven. So one part is seven. So when I look to share it in the ratio of two to three, the first share is two lots of seven, which will be 14, and the second share is three lots of seven, which will be 21. And I can check this is correct, so when I add these two together, I should always come back to my original amount, in this case, 14 out of 21 is 35. The beauty of ratio is I can split it into lots of different sections, this was two sections, this one is three, but it works in exactly the same way. So this time I'm sharing 110 in the ratio two to four to five. So if I add two and four and five together, I get 11 parts altogether. So one part, this is the really important part, is 110, the total divided by the number of parts, so one part is 10. So nice simple numbers in this case. So the first share will be two lots of 10, which is 20. The second share, four lots of 10, which is 40. And the third share, five lots of 10, which is 50. 50, 40, 20, go back to make 110. So I'm pretty sure I've done it correctly. Third example, same idea, just a real life example this time. I'm sharing 42 pounds in the ratio of six to one. So you should already have an idea that the first share is gonna be six times bigger than the first one. So we can use that as a check as well. So the seven parts all together, 42 divided by seven is six pounds. So the first share is six, lots of six pounds, which is 36 pounds. And the second share is simply one lot of six pounds, which is six pounds. Add those together, I get to 42 pounds. And also 36 is six times as big as six, so that checks out both ways. So three fairly straightforward examples of a very important skill.